Hi guys, it's Alicia. Welcome to the channel. Today I'll be doing a Valentine's Day tablescape and also showing you how to make an easy Valentine's Day dinner. I'm starting with these beautiful lace placemats that I picked up from Hobby Lobby last year. They have them again this year too, so if you're interested in them, run over to Hobby Lobby and check them out. Now I'm setting my table in advance and I'm only setting it for six places. I'm really not expecting a large crowd for Valentine's Day. I just want my table to look really pretty as we're leading up to the day. And now that I have my placemats down, I'm going in with these pretty green plates that I picked up from Walmart for only 50 cents a piece. You guys, I'm going for a natural, neutral kind of tone with touches of pink and these plates are perfect. They already go with the decor that I already have on my table. You can do a really pretty tablescape with affordable items and I'm gonna show you with this tablescape how to do just that. Now these pretty little plates, you'll remember I had them for my Christmas tablescape and I ordered these from e -Favor Mart. I love that they're white with the gold beading around the edges. These are gonna look really nice against those green plates that I just put on the table. These colors together really complement one another and they're giving my table that touch of elegance at a really affordable price. Now for my napkins, I want it to add that touch of pink, but also have the green to complement the colors that I already have on the table. I purchased one yard of fabric from Walmart and then cut the fabric in equal squares to make these really pretty napkins. And then I put the gold napkin ring holders around them and they complement the table really well. These glasses are again from my Christmas tablescape and I use them for Thanksgiving as well. Again, I ordered these from e -Favor Mart, and you guys, these glasses are plastic, but I will keep them as long as they last because they add that touch of elegance to any tablescape. They are affordable and they are beautiful. Another item I picked up from eFavor Mart are these beautiful glass candle holders. These are so elegant, and you guys, the quality is amazing. They come in a set of six. I don't remember what I paid for them, but I'll try to link them for you. I also picked up these pretty soft pink tapered candles. They're unscented, and I'm gonna add these pink candles to my green candles that I have on the table, and you will see that this Valentine's Day tablescape is really coming together with these neutral, earthy tones with mixes of pink. And this little vase I picked up in the floral section at Walmart along with these really pretty stems. I love the dark pink against the um, muted kind of peachy looking pink. I think these are gonna look really nice on the table. Now to make my flower arrangement look realistic, I always like to add water to my vases. It just gives it a realistic look. I've cut my stems and now I'm going in and I'm adding them to my vase. And you guys, when this is done, it looks so realistic. You really won't be able to tell that these are artificial stems. Real flowers are always beautiful, they're always the best, but a good artificial realistic flower will do the trick for you every time. And you guys, here's a final look at my Valentine's Day tablescape.
And guys, since it's Valentine's Day, I'll pour myself a cup of tea and then I'll start with our ranch pork chops and red potatoes. I'm starting by cutting my red potatoes in half. Now I'm mixing one cup of olive oil. two tablespoons of dry ranch dressing, actually guys that was the whole pack, <laughs> and then I'll add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And now I'll mix this up and this will be the sauce that we'll pour over our pork chops and our red potatoes. Now guys, this is a slow cooker recipe and I'm going to be putting this in the slow cooker. But before I do, I'm going to sear my pork chops on both sides. This is going to seal the moisture into my pork chops. You can also use boneless pork chops, but the bone in just preserves the juiciness of your pork chop. And if you don't eat pork, you can use chicken. Now guys, I'm setting my um, slow cooker to high. I'm gonna cook this for three hours and I'm adding my red potato potatoes to start with. Now the recipe says to put the pork chops and the potatoes in and then pour in the sauce, but I'm putting in my potatoes and then pouring in my sauce and mixing that up and then adding my pork chops. And then I will go in and pour the sauce over my pork chops. I just prefer to do it this way, but you can do it whichever way you please. And then you're gonna top it off by adding one stick of butter to your pork chops. After that, you'll add the lid to it and then cook it for three hours on high. Now, while that's cooking, I'm going to do a braided bread, you guys. I am using store-bought French bread loaf, um, the dough, and I am just going to take it out. I'm going to unroll it. Uh, this way and then I'm going to roll it the long way and I'm gonna do this to all three and then I'm gonna go through and twist all three of them before I start my braid once I have them twisted I will connect the ends and then go through and just do a simple braid And this is what it looks like when it's all braided. Next, I have some melted butter and I've added to it some garlic salt and I've added some rosemary. And I'm gonna take this and just brush it over the top of my braided bread. I'm making sure to cover the top and the sides. I want the whole loaf to be coated in this delicious, buttery, rosemary and garlic butter. After I have the loaf buttered, then I'm gonna take some kosher salt and I'm just gonna go over the top of it. You guys, it's so delicious when you have that taste. After I bake my bread, I'm going to punch some holes all throughout the bread. And then I'm going to take this butter that I have left over and brush it on again, but I'm also kind of pouring it in the places where I've punched the hole just so that butter can soak down in the bread. Delicious, you guys, I promise, delicious. And then I go over it one more time with my kosher salt. And now I'm gonna move on to my salad and I'm just using some delicious romaine lettuce.
Now I'm adding in uh, English cucumber. some cherry tomatoes, some delicious green olives, some sliced and seasoned pepperoni peppers, and I'm topping it off with some feta cheese. And now it's time for dinner. You guys, whatever you're doing for dinner on this wonderful, beautiful Valentine's Day, I hope you're spending it with the ones that you love. I hope that this is just a wonderful Valentine's Day for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe. And until next week, we'll see you guys. Happy Valentine's Day.